of uh, applying these principles. And by the way, these principles are also mentioned by Imam Ahmed al Dakhan in another work, Idhar al Haq al Jali. He mentions these principles. An example. Mawlana al-Hajj Imdadullah Muhajir Makki Rahimahullah Ta'ala A great scholar that the Obandis hold in admiration and we Sunni Muslims also hold in admiration. If you look at his work Kulliyat Imdadiyya he has statements the likes of which where he mentions that a human being so where he mentions in, in this particular work, that a person ظاہر میں بندہ اور باطن میں خدا ہو جاتا ہے Now even you can look at the context, this is by the way in Kulliyat Imdadiya, page 26, that a person can reach such a state where outwardly he is a human, inwardly he is God Almighty. Now this statement, when this statement is brought to a scholar, and these so-called Barelvi learned scholars, when I say Barelvi, remember I do not mean people who wear jingles on their legs and dance around graves and do prostration to graves and commit bid'ah and all these acts of bid'ah and innovation. No, I mean so, what, what they are calling so-called Barelvi ulama are in fact Sunni ulama. What do they do? They examine the statement with 729 possibilities before applying any fatwa. Before applying, now if someone thinks that this is something I am making up, they can refer to the book of Mawlana Muti or Rahman, which is online. You can get this book online. This book, Ahli Qibla Ki Takfir, here is a hard copy. Ahli Qibla Ki Takfir. This book, he warns regarding declaring all the Obandis as Kafir, all. Salafis as kafir, all Nadwis as kafir, or all so-called Barelvis and Sufis as kafir. He warns against this. He's, he's what Uthman would refer to as a Barelvi alim. This scholar in fact warns against this. He says when a, a fatwa of disbelief is given, there are 729 possibilities of any verdict of disbelief. After the scholars have examined 728 possibilities, they only give the fatwa based on one. After examining 728, meaning they look at the statement. Is the statement possible to be reinterpreted? Uh, they have two ways of interpreting. Ta'wil ba'id, a far-fetched interpretation, ta'wil qarib, or a ta'wil batil. Ta'wil batil would mean a totally rejected interpretation. They look at all these things. They look at the statement. They look at whether the person actually said the statement. Then they look at whether the person retracted the statement. After they examine all of these possibilities, which end up being 729 possibilities, then they give a verdict that this person is a kafir, this individual is a kafir. Likewise, if the, you find any statements of scholars in their works like the work of Al-Hajj Imdadullah Muhajir Makki Rahimullah Ta'ala or Al-Shaykh Muhyuddin Ibn Arabi or any one of the great ulama of Islam you, a person cannot rush to declare that individual a kafir they can say the statement is wrong but why is the statement made? they will look at all the rules and regulations that the ulama have mentioned and now this similar statement is mentioned by Mawlana Ashraf Ali Tanwi the uh, scholar of the Oband. This scholar of the Oband, he has uh, this book on a Sheikh Muhyuddin ibn Arabi. In fact, he has a few works on a Sheikh Muhyuddin. Rahimahullah ta'ala. If you, uh, this uh, Armaghani ibn Arabi. This work, Armaghani ibn Arabi. This work is uh, in total, how many volumes? Uh, three vo- uh, one vo- cup, one vol- three volumes in total, and in in this volume, this particular volume, what volume was this? Yes, there's three uh, treatises written by him uh, in this uh, monographs written, and in one of them on page 106. So this uh, work again uh, is uh, published in the year 1999, and the publishers. Uh, are mentioned here also as Tasawwuf Foundation, which is found in Pakistan, in Lahore, Tasawwuf Foundation. So, Mawlana Ashraf Ali Tanwi has this statement where, again, um, he mentions here 
that if someone uh, again claims uh, if you is ibarat mein abd ke liye ilahiyat ka hukm kar diya binaan ala al istilah that in this statement that a uh, sheikh muhyiddin has stated that a human being becomes god yes but then ashraf ali tan we states that this is binaan ala al istilah a jargon used by the sufis and he makes an interpretation for a sheikh muhyiddin would we declare maulana ashraf ali tanwi a disbeliever just because we found this statement in his book meaning there are numerous uh, types of statements like this found in many works of many scholars like i mentioned the work of al hajim dadullah muhajir makki rahimallahu ta'ala but what will the scholar do a real scholar not a uh, a so so called graduate of darul ulum bari who is unable to even know the basic definitions of ilmul munazar and let this be a warning to anyone who challenges in the future that if you challenge me specifically uh, muslims and again no time not de- declaring him a kafir because when i asked him are you mani these are t- technical terms i know many people get lost and they think sheikh asrar is being too technical because i am not playing up to the audience i'm not entertaining the audience i was being sincere with the brother i was asking him in this claim of yours are you mani or muallil when he realized he is unable to answer this he said are you muslim he asked me are you muslim now of course he knows i am a muslim but any statements of any scholar that you find in any work even if you may condemn the statement you it is not easy to declare the scholar who, who has written down the statement as a kafir waliyadu billah you would have to look at 729 possibilities likewise I always advise my students to read Usul At-Takfir of uh, uh, Pir Muhammad Tishti. Uh, you have a copy this work uh, again Usul At-Takfir this is a work which was recommended to me many years ago by Maulana Muhammad Navid Jamil who is also present and this work Usul At-Takfir which is, uh, is over is nearly 500 uh, pages long by Pir Muhammad Tishti again a so called barelvi scholar he warned regarding takfir and people declaring today we have such a situation that a person attends a wedding of a person who happens to be a part of tablighi jamaat jamaat at tablighi some people will go and declare the the people who attended the wedding as being kafir they will say your nikah is broken is this permitted according to the usul the principles that so called barelvi ulama have written the answer is no if you read usul at takfir and you read ahli qibla ki takfir which is uh, this work which i pointed out and a, per, a, a real learned scholar will look at all these 729 possibilities 